I met Adam Horowitz and Dave Skilkin outside Dance Interior, and Adam says, oh, you know, I'm in a band called Beastie Boys, and we need a logo. I think he gave me like $35, and I just wanted to do something that I thought was going to be edgy, and at the time, the only thing that was edgy in my mind was graffiti. I shot pictures of them just walking up and down the sidewalk there, and then a shot of them sitting on the curb, and when I shot this picture of them sitting on the curb, it had a feeling to it. I knew that was their salad they shot when I shot it. I said, this is their attitude, this is them, this is the, the feel, this is it. I only shot three frames. To me, check your head sonically, hit this sweet spot at the intersection of rock, hip hop, hardcore, grunge, and everything. I took my cues from that in a way that I understood the album was sort of organic, lo-fi. I didn't want it to be that sort of bling style. When they called up and they said, we'd like to run a picture on the cover. I said, I have to hear the music first. So they sent me a little tape and I couldn't make head or tail though. It was like a secret language. It was beyond the realm of my experience. So I called them back and I said, the music's great. You can use the picture. With the License to Ill album, I took the live picture of them on stage at the world. Okay. Just on my own drunken, like having a good time tip. And then... Rick Rubin saw it and he said to me out of the blue, hey, we want to use that picture for the sleeve. Do you mind? I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Having sleeves on two of the first Beastie albums, is, it's not bad, professionally speaking. I wanted to do like a undersea bass, sort of like weird bottom of the sea type thing. And Adam Horvitz, I remember very specifically, he was like, yeah, you know, it's cool, like undersea stuff, that's pretty cool. But you know what's really cool is a space station. <laughs> <laughs> the way that this stuff gets worked on, it's like it, in the course of a couple of weeks, you have to generate all this artwork, you know, and they'd be changes or like, oh, we liked it more when it was like that, or, or why don't you try it this way? Or what I would do is I would, in the way that in Photoshop, you have all these layers, I would draw this stuff and then I would later draw the detail, you know, so that in case I messed something up, it wouldn't be a total setback for the entire drawing. The hundred death record covers of all time and you know like sergeant peppers is on there and sticky fingers and there i am you know it's just it's unbelievable it's just hard to take credit for what it's become you know what i mean they became what they became and that's what makes the you know what made the album the, the credit belongs to the beastie boys